it, let me be straight up with it. Yeah. I took it very personal. Me and you played two weeks ago. And I can I can say it straight to your face. You was paying for um, White, White Leaf, I was paying for Herm Bay. You scored two. I took it more, I took that so personally that I said to, I said to him, I came back yeah, and I, I said to him, I don't think you, people understand what the badge means to me. Wherever I go, I represent SE Dons, no matter what it is. Big game, big play! 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 And we're the biggest! Big game, big play! And we're the biggest! We're the elite! We're the chosen! We're the chosen! We're the chosen! These are different things. There's a hundred percent a different thing. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Okay, my brother. Me versus you. I'ma use my condo on you. Oi, okay. He finds weed with just too much time and space. He managed to round me, but where's the rest of the team? And that's a cheeky finish, but I'll make sure I leave a little bit on him at the end. Different to win the league. That's all I can say. Everyone See. knows. I think your YouTube channel knows me well. I've been telling Widget for years you don't deliver. Don't deliver nothing. Don't come here get no points. Go home, go get a bus. They're going to play them fucking slow stuff and they're going to go, come on mate, you can have a point off of us or three points. Go on, have a go on, you can score. Yeah. Uh, it's been a bit, Kenny, it's been alright while we've been winning though, isn't it? No, but we ain't been winning with it now, don't we? What? Oh, it's because Palms is now the DJ. Why we the DJ now? Yeah, we need some vibes, man. It can't just be, it can't, but we just need some vibes. Come on now. I just didn't pay me enough. I need the white league wages. <laughs> I need the white league wages to go hack up. But I write. Aye, it was nice though. Did you actually? Yeah, I left it in this part. Right, boys. <laughs> no, I, I, I took it off before I got there. It's this silly thing, wasn't it? White Leaf is a grudge game, no matter what. No matter whether it's a league game, friendly, cup game, it's a big game. The element of surprise from us is gone. They know how good we are. Yeah, their, their assistant said to me, we're a much better side than them. That's why they come and took Sid. Yeah, because we are a better side than them. They had to improve after we went there. We could have been f***ing 4 nil up in the first half hour. We get in their f***ing faces, we get down their f***ing throats, and we can go to war and we win this game of football today. Mad cold night. Chris, you know I've only slept for two hours. What do you do actually? What do you mean what do I do? No, 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 you know no, what I do. Actually, no, you know I what I do. Actually, on, on camera, they've actually asked you, what do you do for a living? You know what I do. I provide businesses, I provide businesses with car machines. <laughs> Without being nosy, does it pay well? Huh? Does it pay well? That pay enough. <laughs> you injured bro? Oh, foot's I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get back as well. Oh, I'm mad. No more mad free kicks? No, not for a while. Right, green. You got what you wanted. Let me ask you a question. Go on. No, even ask you a question. We'll give you a warning. If someone wants you dead and they sent a hitman for you today. What's your reaction to that? Let's see if I survived the 90 minutes, innit? The feds tamper with the evidence. The man got early wheelies. Now he's here. Hey, you hear that? No safety. No safety. You saying you're really going to go to war? Tonight's the night for it, Chris. <laughs> You've been waiting for him. Comment below who that hitman is. Not a hitman, bro. <laughs> Normal <what>? human. Normal. <laughs> he bleeds just like him. <laughs> you have a word with G about um, the editing? Tell me, too dirty, bro. What did you do? Well, you know what you do. No, 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 you I don't know, because I don't edit these videos. You, I just you saw the video, though. But what did he do, though? There's the zoom in thing. <laughs> Front line, the ball's not fucking sticking. And then you're all whinging. Had him in the building. Yes, He's here, man. No gloves. No gloves. No gloves. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm regretting it, man. Wherever he's man, you know what? He, he does it, man. He loves it. Yeah, man, I love it. Love this club. Which one, bro? You, you film like three different clubs in like one week. Love all the clubs. All the clubs. Yeah. All of them. All of them, man. No cap. <laughs> Last time we played this team, they tried to get rid of you. Yeah, I know, man. Here you are. Free Vogel, innit? Wearing it? your kit. Free Vogel. <laughs> oh, an innocent man, innit? <laughs> Man's here. That is it. Fat and ready. Getting changed straight from hard work. 
to play these, to turn these lot over, man. Better late than never. That is true. Better late than never. Don't need the warm up to play these. Buzzing already. You're a man that's played for many non league clubs, yeah? Yeah. So, new season, you've gone in for a meeting with a gaffer. Mm -hmm. He said, Listen, you got lines I can offer you a bag a week here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's drug yeah. money. So, if you take this money, you're implicated. Yeah. Yeah. You're sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> he came at the, the wrong moment. You know. yeah, he came yeah, in yeah, no, the no, wrong no. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't take it. What did you say to you? I wouldn't take it. <laughs> why was, why was Jaji so cool? I, no, I, I can't tell you. I don't give a There's shit. About five of them wearing gloves. That that to me is a f***ing alarm bells. To be honest. Give it away, isn't it? Yeah. So I reckon. To be honest with you, I reckon we're going to win this two one. Two one. Yeah. I reckon two one, Chris. To the people 100. watching, it's like minus one tonight as well. Yeah. It must be so cool. Yeah. I think we're gonna we're gonna win today. Yeah, yeah Mendo's got the goose up, so you know it's cold. Exactly, <laughs> the Wesley Snyder. <laughs> hey, hey, blur it out, hey Netherlands, <laughs> Netherlands number one. <laughs> Wesley Snyder. You didn't tell me that that triple F was playing. Yeah, yeah bro. Look, no, that's that's that's. Yeah, look, look there, bro. Yeah, that's cold. a lot. That's a lot of triples. That one. <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy Josh, man. That ain't no triple F. Triple F, you know. Let's keep it at the lunch for. Oh, right. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, hey, two, hey, 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 big up, 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 big don't be a passenger. Don't wait for someone to make the fucking difference. Don't wait for someone to get us going. Be that fucking player. Be the catalyst. Be someone that people want to fucking play with. When you look to your mate, left and right, front and back, behind you, that's someone you're going to war with for 90 minutes. And for 90 minutes, we're getting a fucking win. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Yeah. No fucking ego. Be humble. Move the ball. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's fucking go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, do you know the difference between wanting to be good and wanting to be great? It's what you treat it like. Mm. If you treat this game like it's a f***ing big game, it will feel like the best thing that 90 minutes. If you come on this pitch and you think about it and you say it's just a League Cup game, it's a waste of time. There's a lot of us here who haven't had regular minutes and I want you to keep your shirts, boys, because I want to play alongside you. But you can't take games like this lightly. You have to set the standard. That's for us who have been playing and that's the same for the ones who are coming in. We can f***ing beat them today. Yeah. Trust me on that. On. We have to go in for the win. That's the mentality. This is our biggest game. Understood. Yeah, Hands right. in. Let's go, boys. Ready? One. Three, two, one. Go go ahead. Ahead. I'm just playing on league. You can hear if you want. I'll be in between the sticks with my other mitts, son. Cause the fire's in my palms and the scuff in his lung. So I'm getting my clean sheets, then I'm gone. If you say I'm flying a Ferrari, you're wrong. We're non league pioneers. We're the first goalkeepers to get in between the sticks and record it. And not have the backing of a big promotion. This is the Division 1 Cup, Whiteleaf at home. And you know who's here today. You know who's here today, I've already told you. Give me the 300 likes, it's the transfer window. Let me know who you need to bring in. You'll hear no complaints from the home side about the 2G grass surface. It is grass. Shaw struggles to clear it. The bounce is actually true to Torin and he keeps it in play. But we all know what happens at the arena. It still solves weekly. Mac is the first casualty. It's so rare in a 90 minute match to see the first shot on goal actually caused by the keeper. But at the arena that bounce could catch anybody. Whiteleaf currently at the top of the scaffold prem. And the League Cup might be seen as a distraction to them. If so, the players aren't really showing it. They seem all up for it. A bit of industrial play from the centre midfielder. He had a good partnership with his little Dogado having a strike. Also known as Winge, the follow-ups missed. Terrific defending by Whitey. This is non-league, so you get your government names. I hope you brought your non-league ID. Elbows pushing and shoving. He's accepted on entry. Get the ball moving or it'll be you next. If you want to push about, we can all push about. Has already started. Target men and lump centre-backs in a clash of the ages. It's an ego battle of who's stronger. A millisecond away from a shin pad being split. And a goal celebration either end. Hey, 
Six foot, seven foot, eight foot tall. We were Judah to head the ball. Ooh. Yeah! A new player brought into the starting lineup is Bola. He launches it towards Richie White. Richie White tries to get on his stronger side. It falls to the barrister edge of the box. Reliable hands from Shaw. Whiteleaf have been criticised for starting slow in football matches. That's home and away. But beating them is a different story. <laughs> and you can see it already. The investigation to Wyatt continues. Star man for Whiteleaf has been touring Roberts all season. His ability with the ball at his feet is incredible. He tries to start the play. But be warned, feed the bear and he will roar. Leeward finds himself going into unknown territory. He's driving, normally a holding midfielder. He, he gives away a foul and Bogle and it's not given. Ball's retained. Torren Roberts looks up, he recognised the movement. It's an old Western shootout. And the apex pillar of Big G comes out on top again. Give me a replay. Hello <laughs> guys, it's been a while. There's a difference with shooting at the keeper and picking your spot like my mate JD. Harry Kane's now at Munich. Is there any chance of anyone challenging for the Bundesliga? No chance! With a lack of service coming to his feet, Winge actually becomes useless because you're putting him in a battle with a giant and the giant's always going to win. However, down the other end, we've got a bummer who? He's on service today! A Smith Rowe almost gets goal of the season! Critical feedback from the bench has had Whiteleaf going back to what they know, playing out from the back. And loose possession creates a turnover play. Sammy delivers! A bummer who? A bummer what? A bummer denied for a throw in? The referee pulls play back. Bogle finds himself under the pressure of the Ford Transit Van Winge. So he goes direct straight into Aubameyang. Aubameyang? Aubameyang, I mean to say. And somehow, the referee and the liner have come to the decision that ball is offside. He's alongside the skipper. The non-league series has definitely been about me being a goalkeeper and how my experience is. But the modern day keeper's role has changed. Breaking the pressing line with passing. The other side of it is bringing out the Oxlade champagne to compliment the Joey Coleslaw. Serious keeper, that. Big G forcing Winch to burn calories. Cheeky. Two players seen as Whiteleaf's DNA in terms of style of players, Gasper and Torren Roberts. We've not seen much of the two this half. He finds himself one on one with Bogle in the 18 yard. Left foot is striked, intercepted by G. I think it was more of an interception than a save. Had it have gone back post, look who was there. For the scoreline to remain 0 0, it seems kind of fair based on the chances created. Whiteleaf have had the better two, if you had to ask me. Ball gets played back to Shaw and he does well to clear it first time. Barrister helps it on. Is he guilty? Is he part of the reason? Slight tackle from Gasper and G. And it's an open net. Can you make it, Joel? He's got a caravan on his back and he can't. And they celebrate with some sort of flamingo Saudi money dance. Bravery from the centre midfielder and just not enough of a reaction from the Croydon team. It seems a little bit harsh to be going in at 1-0 down, but the truth is they've had the cutting edge, they've had their chance, they've taken it. So we're getting closer to where the referee actually blows that half-time whistle. 1 in 20 people share the same birthday, so comment below and see if there's a match. If there isn't, it's half a job. Yeah, disappointed to come in 1-0 down at half time. Okay, that should not be the case on the reflection of the play. Yeah, okay. At their place, yeah, they dominated a lot of the ball. We done what we done very well when we had the ball. Today it's the opposite way around. 
We've dominated the ball. Yeah. We've had probably, I wouldn't say chances, but more half chances. Okay. And a loose ball and it's gone through one of them. Yeah. It's a lucky goal. One thing I will say is don't let them disrespect you. When they scored, they laughed and went, ha ha. And we've got all this on the bench. Yeah. For me, that says it all. Next tackle, you put one of them in the stands. The 10, yeah, I don't care how f***ing big and strong he is, f***ing lifting me, so f***ing arrogant. I'm f***ing 5 foot 6, I'll tell you now, Whitey will tell you, next 50-50, he's f***ing getting put on the track. They've mugged us off, they've called us the f***ing tramps on Twitter, yeah, f***ing paupers, and putting up f***ing jokes about all of that, yeah? Do you want to lend a tenner and all that shit, yeah? Alright? Just gonna f***ing stick up their f***ing arse fellas. Don't f***ing stick up their arse, when you're marking them, put your finger up there. Apart from the goal, I think we've done all right. Maybe I'm watching the wrong game, but I think we've done all right. We've battled well. Bowler, you've been superb. Gee, your distribution been unreal. I just think that the main thing for me watching it is we need a bit more quality on the ball. That's all we're missing. I know Giles is saying stick your fingers up their arse and all that sort of stuff. Be clever about that. Do you know what I mean? Not saying literally stick your fucking fingers up their arse. Do you know what I mean? But just be clever. Just be horrible. They wouldn't like that. Do you know what I mean? You did that to number 19, you wouldn't like it. Yeah? We need to fucking make sure, I was laughing now, we need to make sure that we're fucking quality's better. Palms, to be honest with you, <laughs> can you take them out? <laughs> Palms, the quality needs to be better. From you, personally. Harvey, quality needs to be better and greedy. And what's that? That's our three midfielders. Our three midfielders are going to win us the game. Yeah? In, not just in football, but in life, you don't get what you deserve. Yeah, and it goes back to the warm up about being the one that is, makes the difference, the one that is the catalyst. So, let me be very simple. Yeah, nil nil. It's easy to be brave and to get on the ball. Yeah, you're one nil down now. Now it's about seeing who can actually get on the ball and make something happen. Who's going to make that penetrative pass? Who's going to make that movement in behind? Who's going to bust the gut to get on the end of a cross? Yeah, let's put their body on the line because you one nil down. Yeah. So it's sink or swim. If you are a wide player and you are able to wrap your foot around it, open your body up and deliver the ball into here, you have done your job. Then it's on one, two, three, Harvey, you as well. Maybe palms or greeny. But you have to go out and fucking grab this game by the bollocks. Yeah? You have to be brave, you have to get on the ball. Do not fucking sink. Yeah? I'm gonna be real, a lot of talking. Yeah, a lot of talking about this, and they said this that. Whoever we play against, we get on the ball, we move it. It doesn't matter who you play against, you have to prove a point. You are here for a reason yeah you are here to win everyone we play we have to prove a point yeah we're not here to make numbers up let's go speed and a barrister green are, are normally not two things you put together but he is deceivingly quick like those boris bags he finds himself continuing the attack he crosses it in sean makes light work of it but the barrister promises 2024 to be prosperous yeah, yeah, yeah. nicholas party's finally fit if they can keep part A fit, they've got a chance of going for that title. He makes the first challenge and Jordy flies in. But somehow the ball continues in their direction. Tora Roberts skips past the barrister left. Chops him right, shifts it left. It's the back of the net. True to his name, turn up and violate. He has got his second of the day. We talk about big game, big players. He wasn't big enough to win him the Paul Picard. But he's been good enough to secure a second goal in this tie. If Roberts was to score a header, he would have the perfect hat trick. Chris starts to put on his levers. He knows what time it is. We're on a crime scene. You man ain't got the right to talk right about now. It's our time now. We're in Croydon. Barrister Green takes a shot. Case a guilty defendant and he busts his case. They find themselves losing. It's a losing battle. I'm just sipping coffee to shits and gigs. Nothing's happening. Forget about what he's saying, Barrister Green! Oh my goodness! We have a second look at his inches, a terrific block on the line by Dammy. Turns it round the post. Magic! Do you man really know what happens when the dogs then step out? It's not a thing of we go home early. 
we make sure we get all the jobs done. Are hey, you man? Load it. Load it. Don't swear at me! Don't swear at me! Don't swear! There we go, it's not hard, is it? It's the rules, laws of the game, that's what you get paid to do. Guess what, guess Liam! Shut the fuck up! What are you talking to me? Why are you touching our players? What are you talking to me? What are you talking to me, Grandad? Shut your fucking your mouth, man. I ain't got a clue what was going on the sideline, but at the end of the day, this ain't the pro game, this is non-league. It's men's football, people say what they want. And <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Mike Hill plays it off the ship by the Sammy, and he decides to start an attack straight away. And the seventh for win. One on one. Massive save to make sure the tie is kept close as possible. <laughs> Michael grabs him. Oh god. Michael's gonna have to pay that yellow card suspension. It won't do nothing to what he's earning a week. Absolutely nothing. Chicken changed to a billionaire. He's on it again. Twisted the turning, but he's getting frustrated because nothing's going his way. We've gone direct. And Uni barely touches him. If that was me, what would they say? Play the clip. Get yourself up, you pussy. Get yourself up. Get yourself up. Football's ruthless. There's been some verbal abuse. It's been atrocious, brutal, to be honest with you. But it's all been part of the dark arts. Everyone's going to shake hands after. However, the only way to silence the critics is with goals. And we haven't done that today. Football definitely has a way of translating to life lessons. Sometimes you just gotta take your licks. Who has the audacity to play off the back of the goat Watson? Or me! The former Nigerian international still has time to have a sense of humour. A player with a poor sense of humour, Big G. Why, why are you always coming for me, G, man? Always me. Good save. As Whiteleaf get closer and closer to the bragging rights of winning at the opposition home ground. A derby day soon to be settled by the GOAT Watson. Denied again by Big G. Terrific save. Terrific reflexes. The scoreline stays down. <laughs> I don't know what in the system Mary Clarence has happened today. But we are going to end this episode with a defeat. That is a Derby Day loss in Group A. Our next game, fortunately for us, is going to actually be Whiteleaf away at their ground. Which I can promise is going to be a spicy encounter. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And a personal message from me, the skipper. Winge, bring your best men. I'll see you next week. Skipper out. G -g -g unit I speak for my boy, man. It's cut. It's dope. I feel like G made bare big saves. But I don't know where it is, Chris, man. I feel like we, we're missing something. But I don't know where it is. The, the man in my gutted. And I don't feel like we deserve to lose. I can't lie. I think the first goal is shit. The second goal is even worse. I didn't even watch the second half. I was inside getting a shower. Don't tell Gaffer, though. I think they're both shit goals. I think he's a good winger. 
I think league's the most important thing. Obviously, we want to win every single game, especially against these boys. Seriously, boys, don't beat yourself up over that performance. It was quite easy to get the game called off. All right, and today when, first of all, Freddie dropped out early doors, then Evans dropped out, then Reba weren't going to make it, and it was shifting, and obviously I had to get Billy and Andre signed in time, so we had enough for the bench. Yeah, at that time it was easy for me to say, do you know what, let's f*** this off, we'll play it again in the new year. But listen, I believe in us as a group. Every game we play, we, if we don't win, we learn, we don't lose. OK, we'll take what we need from today. All right, yeah, two sloppy goals. It was a decent finish, but we still should have prevented the initial phase. And look, boys, we could have we could have had a couple ourselves. The game's been def uh, decided by quality in the final third. They had some half chances, they took them. We had some half chances, we didn't take them. My one challenge to you would be to always be brave and look to get on the ball, um, and just don't believe in what we're doing. Don't just because things are tough. Play shit football or lose your standards. I'm pinning the walls, bro. I've got my battle scars. You know what I mean? I keep going, and I always try and represent what we are, which is we don't give up. No retreat, no surrender. However, the fr three points for today is gone. There's a saying, I'll tell you a special saying, every dog has its day. Facts. Oh, oh, you know why I don't want to lose today, fam. It's whinging it, man, bro. Whinge of all people, bro. But I don't know what the people at home are going to say, do you know what I mean? Are they going to say we was beaten by the better side? I don't know. I just... Uh, we went to war and we didn't win. That's how, that's how I feel. I feel deflated, man. But I hope I've given the people at home a good example what leadership will hopefully look like and we keep going bro. Oh. Horrible way.